How safe is the universe if black holes are everywhere? It's not a dumb question, I promise. One of the plausible explanations for dark matter is that there are little baby black holes all over the place, making galaxies heavier than they look. But if that's true, it might seem like maybe we should be worried because, you know, we're in a galaxy too. Fortunately, physicists can assuage some of that concern. For example, my colleague Bob Scherer showed in a recent paper that the smallest black holes that can be dangerous to humans would have a mass of around 100 trillion kilograms. To put that in perspective, that's around the mass of Mount Everest, depending on who you ask. As these black holes would be traveling a few hundred kilometers per second, the damage is primarily caused by shock waves, and at this mass, they would do about as much damage as a 22. So the question then is, how common are these black holes? Given that the density of dark matter in the Milky Way is about 13 grams for every region of space equal in volume to the moon, there just aren't that many black holes nearby. This density means that there would be about two Mount Everest mass black holes within 450 million kilometers of the sun, which is about the size of the inner solar system. But that's a really big region of space, so even at their most common, these dangerous black holes that might account for dark matter would likely never strike a human, and we would never even know that they were here. The probability of any one black hole hitting a person would be something like 1 in 30 trillion per year. So don't worry, we're safe from tiny black holes.